Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Playing some Odin for you guys today, which is quite exciting for me, at least, anyways. Because, first of all, I love Norse characters. I love all the Norse characters. By far my favorite pantheon. Um, my top, like, two characters aren't Norse, but I do like a bunch of the Norse characters. I think the, the ones, like, off the top of my head that I'm not a big fan of are, like, Stole and Rat. Maybe there's, like, one or two more. But I do love the Norse characters. We're going to be building Transcendence this game. I'll tell you more about that. Uh, more as to why I'm doing that in just a moment here. Let me buy my stuff. Let's get this. Let's get this. Call it a day. All right. So anyways, playing some Odin. Uh, we love this guy. Another reason why it's exciting, though, is because, well, it's a new patch, and there's a bunch of OP characters open, and I kind of want to see how Odin fares against the OP characters. Uh, you know, like like Bakasura, for example. Uh, you know, just one random example. Um, and also, I've never played Odin in Duel, and I've actually never seen Odin in Duel either, aside from one time. I, I seen Odin one time from one player called Ravage Player. He's a console player that um, plays Odin everywhere, like Joust. Joust, Duel everywhere, he plays Odin. I'm going to start my blue and just pray and hope that this guy doesn't invade me. He very well could. In fact, he probably should. He did indeed do that to me. I'm just gonna try to beat on him as much as I can here. See if we can maybe end up getting a kill in the end here. Oh, he horrific me. That's pretty smart. But is it smart enough though, bucko? No. Dude! All Baka players are the same, man. They get away with murder. They just do the stupidest stuff and get away with it because they're... Bakasura. Whatever. I'm not sweating it that much. I'm gonna get this red buff called a day. But yeah, I've never really seen Odin in Duel. He's not a very popular character in general. Uh, I think he's popular in like Arena and stuff. And also since he got changed recently, he's of course a lot more popular. They made his three fire off much faster. As well as a couple other changes, but it's mainly just the three. Like they also made it to where his two, I think before the change, his two did bonus damage only if it was like full HP. And now it always does it as long as you use your jump and you bird bomb. That was a, that was a good change. Don't get me wrong. That was a good change, but... It's mostly the the ult is now two ticks instead of or not the ult the three is two ticks instead of um three so it goes off a lot faster there's no longer the auto aimed middle one it's just the attack speed increase first pulse and um the stun on the third thingy so i actually don't even know if i want to get my cage just yet <laughs> Yeah, we got both of those. <clears throat> Tiny little boys. That's good. That's good. Oh, no. No, no, no. <sighs> okay, we're chilling. <clears throat> we are chilling. All Bakasura players are the same, boys. Just remember that. Alright, so another reason why we're going Transcendent Start, because I was actually thinking about going Equinox. I'm just going to get as many of these rocks as I can, I think. Why not? Uh, I can't really fight him over it and, like, stop him. So we're just going to get as many rocks as we can. We're going to back up by our Transcendence here. And uh, boom, boom. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so the reason why we're going Transcendence instead of like Equinox or something is because I actually went Equinox in my first game. <gasps> Gasp. Oh my god. I played a game without showing you guys. Yep. Um, pretty much everything that could have went wrong went wrong in that game. Don't get me wrong. I won. I was 5-0. and oh. I, I, This is not about not showing you guys a loss, okay? I'll even show you guys at the end. I was 5-0 and oh versus... An AMC, okay? Uh, I won the game, but I started Equinox. I don't know how much I want to yap about this, to be honest, because I'm talking over the game, but long story short, I, I tried starting Equinox. I ended up buying Shadow Drinker instead, and then I sold my Shadow Drinker to buy Equinox, and then I went Berserker Shield and had no cooldown, and it was running out of mana the entire game until I got third item transcendent, and it was just a... It was just a bad game, guys. It was just a bad game. It was literally me just fumbling the bag the entire game. I mean, I won. I was 5 0. But holy, it was just like sadness. I had no mana and no cooldown and was against a green XE dude, and it was just not a good time. And I, I decided that uh, we're just going to scrap that bad boy. Because also, I was 5 0 anyways, and it wasn't really a competitive game anyways, so. I just decided it was best to scrap that bad boy. Dude, why do all Baka players play like this, man?
Gonna horrific him for the anti heal. Okay. I played that kind of greedy for multiple reasons, like, or not reasons, but in multiple ways I played that kind of greedy. Um, yeah, let me just kill that one minion and we'll jump on this. I didn't pop my multi potions, which wasn't really intentional. I just wasn't really thinking about it. Like, I didn't make the active choice to not do it. I just wasn't thinking about it. Um, and also, I didn't cage. Which the cage would definitely have helped me out there for sure. But it is what it is. Goes how it goes. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go straight into a Jotun's. Why not, man? What's the worst that could happen? Uh, I think I still want a Berserker Shield because I do want some attack speed. So I think what I'm going to do this game is I'm going to build this character just like Gilgamesh. Oh, another thing I didn't say um, is that we're, we're trying to test and... Yeah, I mean, I guess I kind of talked about it a little bit, but... We're trying to test and see how good Odin is, you know? How good he is compared to the top tiers. And of course, if I go against, like, bad players, then that's going to skew the data, right? But... We still get to see how much damage he does and how survivable he is and whatnot, generally speaking, right? So we're gonna back here by our Jotuns. I could have also just went Berserkers, second item two, that would have been perfectly fine, but I decided to be greedy and get myself a Jotuns for big boy cooldown reduction. It's gonna help us, because this guy's kind of PvEing us a bit, so I kind of want to be able to like have my cooldowns and chase him, you know what I mean? That's kind of my goal here. He's probably gonna have full Berserkers. I should, and he has Equinox as well, a very strong, boxing item so i can't really box this guy unless i'm winning really hard already like unless i'm already winning the fight super hard i can't box i kind of just need to poke with my abilities like this we poke him poke him back up all today yeah, that's that's what we're doing here by the way just to be clear i think equinox rush odin is fine it's just you have no mana it's actually miserable like you guys aren't seeing it this game because i have transcendence Jotuns. But, like, my first game, I actually had, like, 500 max mana pool and was just going oom um every two seconds. And it was, a uh... Yeah, it was not a good time. Like, pretty much everything that could have went wrong that game. Like, I'm talking, like, my commentating. I'm talking, like, just everything. Everything that could have went wrong went wrong, aside from the fact that we, we won. Like, we didn't die and we won the game, sure. But, like, every other detail about that game was just pure suffering. <laughs> it was terrible. I also took a break after that too. I, I took a break and went to go get some food. And I woke up a little, drank some more caffeine and woke up a little bit as well. I wouldn't exactly say I'm fully awakened, but I'm definitely not asleep either. I don't think I should be leveling his jump in duel. Maybe I should just wing shard here and see what happens kind of thing. He probably could have ulted that, I think. I don't think I would have died, but... He needs to play with his Horrific a little bit better, too. I'm going to pop a multi-pot. He needs to play with his Horrific a little bit better, too, in the sense of... Um, it is anti-shield. Like, Horrific is anti-shield, so... He should probably look to uh, use it when I shield, right? So right there, he went to invade my blue, because all Bakasuras, you know... They all play the same way, they all have the same brain at the end of the day. Hive mind. And he gave up red for like no reason. So there's that. I'm gonna keep popping our multi potions. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Okay, that was like the worst case scenario. <laughs> no. Wait, that clears? Holy. What if I just one shot this? Do I one shot it? Oh my goodness, no way. <clears throat> it feels like I'm playing Hades right now, bro. <laughs> I think he got one. Dude, I have 3,000 gold in hand right now. Holy. Can you please get off of this, sir? Thank you. Alright, I got it back. I have so much money. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to buy Berserker Shield and this... Wait. This tier 1. So the reason why 
I don't know what I want. Second relic, yeah. I could just get beads for the cripple to jump out, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I want Berserker's shield. That's why we're, we're not going breastplate because Berserker's is just an overall better dual item. Um, but also because I kind of want to get a Hydra's, I think. I think Hydra's will be pretty good here. And if I go breastplate right now, I'll be overcapping my cooldown, right? So... So that's the thought process there. He does have his green XE available to him right now. Which is a little bit of a counter, but not really. Because, like, I don't really need the shields 24-7 to make Odin a decent character, I think, is my theory. But also because it has to stack up. So, like, at the beginning of the fight, for example, like, right now, if I walk up with a shield, he can't just green XE the shield off. He has to hit me, like, <clears throat> two, three, four times to get full, you know, uh, anti-shield. And by then, my shield's probably dead anyways, so it's like, I don't know. The green XE really only hurts a lot when I shield when I already have it applied. Like, right now, if I were to shield, that would suck, right? But it's also a super short duration, so I can kind of just kite a bit and call it a day. No way that doesn't hit him. This is the first time I caged this game, man. I was going to say I should have let him leave the cage because if he left the cage, it would have, you know, he would have taken damage, right? So that would have actually been better, but he ended up dying either way. We're beating down this tower, man. Holy. Hopefully I get credit for that whole wave. Hopefully. Looks like I got credit for at least 5 out of 6, if not 6. It could have been 6. I just don't know. I wasn't paying that close attention. We're going to get this, we're going to get a power potion, and you know what? We're actually going to get Aegis, and that may seem weird. And it is kind of weird, to be honest, but Aegis is actually fairly decent in Ibaka, as long as you don't get a... <clears throat> as long as you don't get body blocked by his minions. Pretty decent into him, because... Baka's like main thing is he wants to hit you a few times and then he wants to ult you and he wants to like almost kill you 100 to 0 almost inside the cage or not the cage sorry I was thinking of my character inside the cripple he wants to kill you inside the cripple before you can jump away or just because you're slowed in general right I just proc and so if we just Aegis during the slow and we just don't get bursted down in that and we and also buy time for cooldowns we should be perfectly fine uh, so it looks like he's backing off. We're going to go get this bull demon. The best of our ability. I think it's better to use our attack speed here than use the big damage. <clears throat> Hydra's procs going crazy, surely. I wanted Hydra's because, I don't know, I just feel like I can, I can auto after every single one of my abilities. You know, jump, auto, two, auto, three into an auto, even cage into an auto is, is fine, right? So that was the thought process there. Oh, dude, this game is going so much better than the other game. I'm going to horrific him for the anti-heal on his eat minion. He's just dead, bro. He's just dead. He's just dead, bro. I'm just Odin. I'm just Odin-ing him right now. Holy moly, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, this build felt so much better. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll give you guys like a little sneak peek. A, a quick little sneak peek at, in, into last game. I'll probably show it again at the end of the video. But just really quickly, I'll say GG to this guy. And really quickly, I'll give you guys a, a very fast sneak peek. As you can see, I did not lose the last game. I just... Oh my god, I started building correctly after, like, I don't know, it was mainly just the fact that I got Equinox, I don't think Odin should really get that, even though it's not terrible, but it's more importantly that I, that I went Shadow Drinker, and then had to sell it for Equinox, and was super far behind, and had no mana, until, like, I got this, it, it was like 10 minutes of no mana, and it was horrible, and, anyways, gonna skip you guys into the next game, thank you so much for watching. Alright guys, we're off into the second Odin game, I suppose my third Odin game, smile. But uh, we're into the second Odin game here, and we're against a Master's Board of Nemesis. 
And I'll be honest, this is one of the matchups that I was thinking about banning. I was truly... Oh, that is... <laughs> let's not do that. I was truly thinking about banning that character. Um... If I want to do the same start I did last time, I think I do. I was thinking about banning that character because I was just thinking, I was like, who would give me a hard time? And of course, like, half the gods would give me a hard time, so... There was, like, a lot of gods that came up, but Nemesis was one of them. But I decided not to ban her because I thought I'd have a higher chance of beating her than things like... I don't know, whatever I even banned. The Top Hunters and, like, um, Bastet and stuff like that. I would really love to go against a character that can't build Green X, even though it's not, like, a hard... It's not like a hard uh, counter, but I would really love to go against like a magical. That'd be great, but I don't know. Gem of Isolation is also anti-shielding, and it just got buffed, so maybe people are running that. That'd be pretty cringe. Ah, dude, I want to start this buff, but... Everybody always comes around the corner and invades late, because they're freaking weasels. Okay, not this guy. Now, let's see the other weasel test. Is he, did he start my blue? <clears throat> he did not. He passed all the weasel tests. Wow, that's crazy. And he instantly destroyed my shield, which is not very cool of him. We don't like that. What a jerk. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna horrific and wing shard on this dude. See what happens, man. I don't know if he has his dash up or not. I wasn't paying attention. But either way, we're doing it. All right. He either had his dash, or he either didn't have his dash, or just chose not to. Either way. Ooh, we do not talk about that one. That one was... That was some clear lag. Right there. Yeah. That, 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 was, that was a... That was a rough one. To say the least. Bonk. 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 I don't think he'll come and invade this, but I could be wrong is certainly possible. All right, he's not here. Are we safe to bird bomb this wave? Oh my gosh, is this a big mistake? Nope, we're good. We are good. Gonna go back and get my Trenzinose. Trenzinose. Nope. Nice, dude. Nice. Good job. You did it. Holy. Okay, so we got a couple things going for us in this matchup, which is I can cancel his shield with my three, but it's notable that, like, if I wait until after he threes and then I start threeing, I'm going to do enough damage to where, like, I give him enough healing before I stun it anyway, so it's almost like I have to, like, time it correctly, I guess. I have to, like, do it before he shields, so all that to say it's not really the greatest counter, but I also do have a cage, and that cage reduces power, it reduces healing and stuff like that. And healing is a big one because she uh, heals off of her shield, right? And she also can't get out of the cage just naturally, right? So, which I'm surprised I haven't seen a uh, phantom yet. Or not even a phantom, just a shell. You know, that it's going to be a phantom eventually, right? We have yet to see a shell versus my Odin, which is interesting. Maybe people just don't think they need it yet. All right, he's got a dominance online. Should be fine. I need, to, I need to take my hoodie off. It's too hot. Okay, here we are. Ready to own. Okay, okay. Cage him. Wait until after the cage and we horrific him if he's not dead by then. Yep, he's just dead. <laughs> Bro, Odin's kind of strong. I don't know. I mean, I certainly don't think Odin is like a top pick or a top fan by any means. But he is a definitely a strong dual character. You can definitely get some wins, especially against like bad players or bad characters. But even good characters with bad players, you can definitely beat those guys for sure. Like, he's just got enough damage and he's got enough utility, you know? He, like, he's got what you need, baby. As long as you don't miss your three over and over, he's got what you need. Don't even sweat. Ooh. Although I will say, if I were a Nemesis versus an Odin, I would probably win this matchup really easily as Nemesis. But yeah, like I said. Well, like I said, uh, you can catch people off guard that are a little bit less experienced, right? Most, most dual players are not like me, and I don't mean skill. Well, I'm not talking skill. 
talking experience. Most duel players have not played 6,000 duel games, 7, 8,000 duel games, wasting away their whole life playing duel, right? That's not the average duel player. Alright, we're horrificing that shield. She did kind of bait us a little bit in the sense of, like, she got our horrific and dipped, but... I mean, we got the we got the rock. Goes how it goes. I wish my jump was up so I could jump on this blue bow. If we get more pressure off of this, that's big. Oh, the blue buff's not even there. I'm an idiot. GG. Good game. Oh, she got the chesters. Was there a chester up top? I didn't even know. Oh, I did not mean to do that. It's sometimes I just double tap the three for no apparent reason. Like I actually have no reason for it. I just do it. Uh, maybe I could have caged. I was thinking about like whether I should cage and then three or three and then cage and I was gonna I ended up deciding I was gonna use my three first and then cage, but she dashed away in the animation of my three, so mistakes were made on this day, unfortunately. Mistakes were made. Depression. Hiya! Dude, my mana doesn't even feel like a problem anymore, which is so crazy, because the first game I played, like I said, my mana was so utterly terrible. Utterly terrible. Alright, he's got defense now. Enemy spotted. I'll attack. Set up an ambush here. No. One HP archers sucks, man. I think I can win this fight over it. She doesn't like. I don't have my horrific this time, but. I right, pop in both my potions. Pop in my wing shard. Field. No. I should have caged, man. I could have maybe won that if I caged. Maybe. I don't know. She does have, just have defense though. Maybe I would have lost either way. I'm not really sure about that one. Oh! Yeah, I mean, this is a little bit of a defense diff. I'm going like an ability based build, right? And I'll. So what, she's going to outbox me with autos. Ooh, okay. She wasted her shield, though. If she comes over here to fight me, I think I will. Choose to fight her. I want to like clear the wave with this spear. All right. Also, I have a transcendence too, and she has a dominance. Like, I don't know. I just wasn't prepared for that fight, to be honest. Maybe if I caged though, maybe that would have uh, changed everything. Man, what do I want? Second relic into a nemesis. I mean, I could do the Aegis again. I could do Med. Get more cooldowns back. Bracer's never terrible. Thorns for just big reflect damage. Does Nemesis even care about the, the reflect, though? Hmm. I'll need protection. I think I'll just wait on Second Relic here, see what she gets. Because honestly, if she gets, like, a Horrific, I could go Sprint. Maybe I should just go sprint, actually, because... Oh, she has Equinox now. Yeah, I can't box her anymore. That's just not gonna happen. I can still fight her, but I can't box her. Those are two different things. Like, I can't even fight over that red buff. There's no way. Or that meteor, because it would require me to box her. It's just not gonna happen. So, like... For those who don't know what Equino Equinox is, it's just a really good trading item. It essentially heals you when the target's looking at you. And it um, does extra damage when the target is not looking at you. When they're facing the, uh, the other direction. Kind of like a Loki passive kind of thing, but not like a Loki passive. <laughs> oh no. It's starting to look a little grim, I won't lie. It's starting to look like we're going to be losing very soon. But at the same time, though, I mean, I don't know. My Hydra spike is pretty big, I think. Also, if I get a power potion, a lot of people don't know how to adapt to people buying things like power pots, so... We'll see. We shall see. 
I'm gonna get this sprint, and I'm gonna upgrade the sprint to tier two. I think is what I'm gonna do here. It's a little bit weird, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. I upgraded it to tier two so I can start the second quest, which is deal damage, like instances of damage, so I can get a free upgrade. The reason why I'm going sprint is because I'm against a slow heavy nemesis who's probably gonna get a horrific, but also because I'm pretty sure the the Roots remove Nemesis Shield, and uh, the Sprint Root should work on that. Now granted, I probably shouldn't be using my Sprint for that, but it is a possibility where she like dashes away, I can catch her, or um... Bro, I didn't even realize she was hitting me that whole time. I was like, why is the thing not dying? I'm actually not even dealing damage to her right now. I need anti-heal. Yeah, I need anti-heal. My cage is anti-heal, but... I'm not always going to have cage. Or maybe I should just only fight around the cage, though. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I don't want to buy a power pot yet. I think I want to buy it after Hydra's and maybe even after Jotun's Glyph. I'm not sure. Maybe Jotun's Glyph isn't as valuable as I want it to be, though. Dude, once he starts getting auto attack items, though, and just to be clear, though, even if I do lose this game, as per usual, like, I don't lose, like, that often, so you guys might not even know this. But as per usual, like I've done this in a video in the past, like this is only my second game of the recording. So even if I lost this game, I would still re and I would go and I would keep playing Odin. So I got to at least get you the normal like three or four matches that I normally do for you guys in these videos. So rest assured, even if we lose this, I still will be playing. But I have not given up faith. We, we can definitely win this. I have established that I am by no means favored in this matchup. I think that's pretty obvious. I am not supposed to win this matchup. However, that doesn't mean we can't, okay? That does not mean we cannot win it. Just because we're not supposed to doesn't mean we can't. Mm -hmm. Having this Hydras is big, though. The Hydras is only so big without the, um... Without the Power Potion, though. I picked up that extra rock. I kind of wish I didn't jump, though, because I'd rather have just jumped on this buff over here. Dang. I'm going to contest it now. Oh, wait. He went to the small camps, I guess. All right. We're going to pick up this blue buff for full cooldown. This blue buff does have a cooldown, right? Because I keep forgetting, because I've been playing other game modes recently where it doesn't have cooldown. So it does indeed have cooldown in duel still. We like to see. We brought back. Alright, we're gonna get the Jotun's Glyph for some movement speed, for some life steal. And we're gonna get the Power Pop. Now, this quest that I started deal 90 instances of damage. I have not been doing very much of that re yet, so. Kinda like. Kinda not that important to upgrade my relic in hindsight, but. Goes how it goes. He went sprint as, as well, which I find to be strange. I mean, I think we traded pretty well there. That is both of our relics down, but overall, I think we did pretty darn good. I wonder if I could jump on this buff and get away with it. Like, am I gonna die for jumping on the buff? Oh, I could cage for peel too. It's always a big W. <laughs> I mean, it's not a big W, but AW nonetheless. I mean, we kind of got a free tower. So.
Is he going to let us pick this up? That's interesting. Interesting choice by him. I appreciate it. Now we need anti-heal, man. In like our normal kit. Like the shield is great and all, but we need a brawler's holy. Holy moly. Could be on bull demon right now. He is not. Thankfully. Cal just got like a, the freest tower of all time. And I thought I was going to have to give up red buff for getting the tower, but we ended up like being fine. So I was telling you guys, like, just because you're not favored in a matchup does not mean you can't get the W. All right, he has Kins now, so that's going to hurt. Uh, we don't have any HP items, but we are a warrior. We have 2,400 HP. Let's see. So we're not capped out. He's not getting full Kins value, but it's definitely still going to hurt for sure. Considering Nemesis is going to shred all my props with that XE and her ult and stuff. Got the proximity ward to run away. Although she does have a sprint, so... I mean, I guess I could use it to chase too, but... I'm just so, like... I don't know, I'm thinking about... Paging the healing. Probably horrific her afterwards. Right, okay. I mean, I don't even... What? She ulted me at the end of the cage. Like, the reason why ulting me matters is because it steals props. Like, it gives her defense. She kind of just, like, allowed me to kill her. I don't really know what that was. Also, I still have my red pot. I've had that for a while. We know that. But I have my... I have red buff, too. She allowed me to get the red buff earlier. So all that... All those, like, little things, they, they add up and they matter at the end of the day. He just beads that. Interesting. I can always just jump over the wall as well. Like, if she chased me here, I could have just jumped to the blue and been fine. I'm gonna pop my attack speed steroid. Hopefully we can get this rock. We did not get the rock. Mm, I could go, like, a, a big pin item. Like serrated or titans, or I could just kill Heartseeker. Not really sure which one's better, so I didn't buy anything. Her getting red actually sucks, man. It's just as easily as I owned her with my red buff, she can own me with that red buff, so. I don't know if serrated. I mean, I think serrated is better than Heartseeker here because I actually am getting some autos off, and I'm. It's one of those situations too where like, I'm either going to be running. I mean, like this is just duel in general. That's why serrated is really good, right? Is I'm either going to be running away or I'm going to be chasing her. Either way, I need I, like this movement speed is really valuable to me, right? So I think I will. Like she's also got a ton of movement speed herself, and it's probably just a faster character in general. So use all the help I can get kind of situation. Yeah, upgrading my sprint wasn't really worth it in hindsight. Now, it's not something I'm really going to harp on too much because like, I thought I would complete this quest faster, but it's not happening. I'm not going to harp on it too much, though, because there's only 300 gold. It's just the fact that I'm not really using. I'm not really using the sprint, so I didn't need the cooldown reduction, but it is only 300 gold, like I said, so it's really not that serious. Wait, I just realized Odin doesn't have the non the non conk nerf in this game mode. Oh my god. The reason why that matters is because the non conk nerf is like it makes his cage like a it's like 30% more to his cage or something, like more cooldown. So it makes it like a 120 second cooldown, or maybe even more, I don't remember. It's something ridiculous. But it's not in it's not in this though. Huh. So my cage is just a low cooldown. That's this is I only have 30% cooldown too. Right, he's fighting into fire minions right now. Okay, we got his ult. And don't get me wrong, he got some value out of that by forcing us out, but... Getting his ult is pretty big, I would say. We're gonna upgrade this, upgrade this. Getting his ult is pretty big, just in general, but also, um... He had red buff there, too, so we were never gonna end up fighting him. You can't fight that. The, the root sprint, I might end up using it for his shield here, we'll see. 
Oh well, he kind of already used it. I mean, I hope he knows I can easily front door this Phoenix. At least I think I can. I'm going to bait that I'm going to Bull Demon. Actually, I, I want to fight him outside of the... Outside of the... Well, I can't say this went the way I thought it was going to go. Dude, like, I don't even know how to like how to like explain that series of events because like, bro, it's just dual players are so weird, man. I don't even want to say they all suck. It's more of just like they're so inconsistent in dual. You can have a player who's in diamond masters GM. You can have a masters border and they just still play like bots, bro. Like, no offense to this guy, you know. I'm sure you play well and your other game modes or other duels but like master's border nemesis with this build i certainly expect to be able to fight me or at least like i don't know build shell like do some i don't know i don't even know how to how to he just let me kill him he just he just let me kill him man i don't know like if you want to get gm duel just just queue up man the, the duel players are given the only thing the only logical thing i can tell you guys is that he's probably not used to odin damage and these players are probably not used to going against Odin because he's like a different character. They're probably underestimating him a lot, but holy man, I don't know what's happening. I'll, I'll go ahead and skip you guys into the next game. Probably get you guys at least one or two more games, depending on how uh, long they are, of course. It's going to get you guys at least one or more. I thought I would win. Wait, I thought I would win. Thought I would win. All right, going to queue up again. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'll skip you guys into the next, again, at least, at least one or two more games for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. All right, guys, we're off into the third game, and I have decided this will be the final game, unless it's like a, um, it's like, it's like a surrender, because that last game was like a 20-minute recording. The one before that was like 11 or something. I actually don't remember. Um, And so this one, it should be up to like 45 plus minutes for the video after this game, unless it's like a super early surrender, so... This will be the final game, unless it's a surrender, like I said, 18 times just then. Uh, this might be the, our toughest matchup yet. Actually, okay, on paper, Nemesis should have been our toughest matchup, but dual players just don't know how to play melee characters. I don't know. I hate to say it, but it's true. They just simply do not know how to play melee characters. It goes how it goes. Let's see if we can spot her. I just hate getting invaded and stuff. This this could backfire and we like start the lane, which like Dude, I really I would much rather like start a buff than start the lane as Odin, because I like a oom. But maybe he's already over here by the red buff. Hello. Enemy missing? Oh there he is. As per usual. Waiting around that corner to do the red buff. To be fair, he could he might have just got to lane, to be fair. It is possible. Now my pessimist brain is telling me that that's not what happened. But it is very possible. Yo, is this guy have aimbot or what? What the heck? I feel like I was juking right there. I feel like I was juking a little bit. A little bit. Nah, he can't have aimbot because Smite, uh... They just released a patch that supposedly hurts cheaters so oh never mind he just missed two autos right there <laughs> definitely doesn't have aimbot that's pretty he's pretty accurate on that first wave then like i'm not gonna pretend like my jukes were perfect you know what i mean but i don't think they were terrible early game you do have like lower movement speed though than later in the game yeah does make sense because uh, for those who don't remember boots used to be in this game you know an item you had to purchase for movement speed and uh they took those out and in the process of taking those out they made you get movement speed per level so as you can see i just got i just got movement speed right there if you rewind you'll see all the way up to level seven so technically you don't have like your normal boots movement speed until level seven 
So that's people actually are easier to hit early game than later in the game. Your middle tower is under attack. Right back. <laughs> and so I can't lie to you guys, I'm kind of getting owned right now. Absolutely owned. This is kind of how it went against AMC too, a little bit. Uh, the game you guys didn't see. But there were other problems with that game as well, so yeah. There were lots of problems with that one. I'm just gonna wing shard for this thing, man. Holy crap, we got something. We did it. We're winners. Everybody said I was a loser, but I'm a winner. Okay, she did get shell, which is interesting. Certainly going to be good for her in the early game, and she's going to have a phantom shell late game. We've, we've got an intelligent player here, or at least a somewhat intelligent player. One thing I will say, though, is we do have a horrific. We can use that on the uh, the shell, but that's not like the actual absorb shield from the shell is not really the reason why she got it, but still, still valuable to remove that, though. I'm sure she's not going to mind too much, but definitely valuable. And until she actually gets phantom shell, until we get to that stage of the game... Um, no way the Chesters don't spawn here. Sadness. Uh, I can just horrific it until then, right? But when it before it's Phantom Shell. Although I might not, though. It depends on the situation. What the? Alright, there's no way he meant to do that. He's gonna Shell, and I'm gonna horrific it. Thoughts? Now, in case you're wondering, like, maybe I didn't need to do that. I, I think you're right. I probably didn't need to do that, but. There is a but. And that but is, I did it for two reasons. One, because he shelled. And two, because I thought his dash was going to be coming up real soon. Because like, it was around that time, right? His dash was coming up. So I wanted him to be slowed after, uh, after he dashed by the horrific. Now, he didn't end up getting a dash off. But it was a better safe than sorry type of situation. I'm gonna pick up some of these rocks here. Hopefully we can contest this red buff, although we might not be able to, I don't know. Popping our potions. Ooh, another rock. Pick that bad boy up. Okay, so he certainly did not mean to dash in, but we're not gonna just allow him to like, I mean, I don't know. It's his mistake, right? So we're, of course we're gonna punish it. That was kind of risky, to be honest. He could have just, like, ulted that or something. Maybe his ult's still down. His ult very well could still be down. Yeah, Odin's ult is just a 90-second normal cooldown. At least when it's leveled up. Because there's no non-conk changes. Right now, it's 110. But it scales down to 90 in duel. Which is worth noting. That's very good. Very solid. Okay, that blue spawns soon. Is he backing? Or is he looking to fight over this blue? He look he's looking to fight, okay. Fine by me. And by the way, I should mention, part of the reason why I wasn't caging as much as I probably should, like in the first game, is because I thought it was a low cooldown. Or a long cooldown, rather, by the way. That's why I keep bringing that up. But I should just, like, cage it more often. I don't know, he's kind of just, like, let, letting me have whatever I want at this point, to be honest. He's not even going to contest the rock either, bro. What what are dual players, man? Hello? Okay. Bros are just asleep at the wheel, man. Dual players are a different breed. Okay, he didn't rush defense like most people do. He went straight into that XE. He wants that green XE. That's for sure. He doesn't have a chalice yet either, which is worth noting. Guys, you need to buy chalices. Not having a chalice puts you at such a disadvantage in duel. Thought he might be on bull demon. He was just doing the small camp, turns out. Not 
that's another thing too like me not knowing that his ult was a lower cooldown than I thought, that's another reason why I wasn't leveling it. Now, I still think leveling the shield is better than leveling the ult, but putting points into the ult over the jump, like, it's probably... There's probably a solid argument for leveling the ult over the jump. Could go either way, though. I don't, I don't really, like, deeply regret anything I've done in this game. Like, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. So I didn't mean to horrific if that wasn't obvious. I meant to wing shard, but I pressed the wrong button. GG. That actually kind of does suck too. Like I kind of, I'm about to push with this bull demon. And like I would really have loved to have a horrific when I go to fight him. So that actually does kind of suck. I might not be able to win this fight because of that. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't need to get the tower with this bull demon for it to be worth it. Like, I just want to see what I can do with it, and even if that's just the pressure, if that makes sense. Okay, he's going to this red buff over the rock. Like, even if I just use this sustain to win a fight or get all the buffs or something, I think that's more than worth it, right? So again, I do not, even if I don't get the tower, that doesn't, like, mean it's not a successful bull demon, I suppose. Because it is a very early bull demon, to be fair. In fact, I'm going to go send my little minions in there. They're going to poke it out a bit. And the rock no longer heals towers. It no longer heals towers. So any little bit of poke you get is valuable. Again, which I like. It's very nice. Again, we're probably not going to get much off the bull demon. But the bull demon did give us sustain. It maybe allowed us to get the red slash rock, whatever. Um, got a little bit of poke. And also the bull demon itself, just getting it, gives you like 100 gold as well. Worth mentioning. Still not over yet though. Still got 17 seconds. Do I think I'm gonna get the tower with it? No, probably not though. I might be able to like dive him here or something. Let's see, we got 10 seconds. All right, minions are in tower. We can hit this thing a little bit, get some poke. Oh, the scepter hit him and got me aggro. We love that. Just kidding, we hate it. Remember how I said poke is valuable? We got half the tower there. That is beautiful. That's what we like to see. And the bull demon comes up in just another two minutes or so. So no big deal. Main thing is just that we're getting all the farm on the map. Get, gaining a lead here. We want to clear this wave and back before the rock spawns if possible. I didn't think she would be here already. Oof. Now we got to like go around this corner to back or something. Fine, because we ended up getting the small camp anyways. Uh, gonna go back, get ourselves that, get a red pot, get tier 2 hydras, get thorns. Thorns is very good versus Medusa. We love thorns versus Medusa. Uh, she's gonna be on the rock before me, but I think I'll make it there in time, hopefully. That is the goal, of course. Three hundred thorns, holy! Oh, well, that's embarrassing. I can't believe it. Dang, man, that should have been a kill. It would have been a kill if I didn't get stunned for two seconds there. Should be able to get this tower still, though. Even if she does show up, okay, I probably shouldn't have took that tower shot, but no big deal. Main thing is that we are getting the objective. Probably wouldn't get this objective here if it was full HP. So it's a good thing we got that poke earlier. Alright, we're going to make her think that I want to back. I mean, I do want to back to get my Hydras, but I'm not going to. He doesn't have green Xe yet. <laughs> what is that bugged Medusa dash? Holy. Ole mole. Gotta watch out for her going for bull demon though. That's what a lot of people do when they're in this situation. When they feel like they're backed up on a wall. Backed up against the wall, they don't know what to do. They, a lot of times they just go for bull demon. So that way I can't get it kind of thing. Which is not a terrible play unless the other person is aware of it. This will pierce their armor. Let's get that, that, and that. Alright, we got the Jotun's Vigor for more chasing potential and whatnot. Okay, he did get the Phantom Shell. It's worth noting. 
He doesn't have a second relic for whatever reason. He's not on Bull Demon. He's probably near the rock or just playing safe. Honestly, he could be on Bull Demon right now. Like, he could have just faked me out. Kind of doubt. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say I kind of doubt it. He doesn't really seem, doesn't really seem like the trickster type, you know. But who knows? All right, we're gonna get put our proxy ward right there. I did want to keep that proxy ward on me. So that way I could block some Medusa autos with it, but... Oh well, it's not that big of a deal. Important thing is that we get the Bull Demon. That's the most important thing. Kind of just not even fighting us at this point. I don't really blame him because I'm super far ahead now, but... Medusa probably shouldn't let Noden get to this point, to be honest. Like, Medusa's really good early. But, some misplays. We're kind of just waiting for our minions to get here, to be honest with you. Alright, so, maybe a uh, bad horrific there. I did it for the shield, of course. But, definitely didn't need to do it. Kill that Chester so we have more of an escape plan, slash even can chase him with it. Step in the Chester, jump on him, pop the thorns. Now we're going on Titan, going on Titan. Oh. Trying to go for the end here, or at least poke it down. And I could just int onto it. Like, I could literally, like, die for it and get it super low and then respawn and come all the way back down the lane and kill it again. But, like, I don't know. I'm just not a... Maybe it's my ego, but I, I don't like dying for stuff like that. What's he doing, bro? Are we about to fight? You want to fight, bro? Okay. I mean, okay. Like, dude, I don't understand dual players, man. Like, it's just getting worse and worse as the days go on. Like, what is he doing right there, man? What is he doing? Like, what, what's the plan? He thought he was just going to kill me? Odin? The Allfather? Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, man. I don't know. Duel's in a rough spot right now. Like, I want to say, like... I don't know, it's always kind of been like this, to be fair. Like, dual players have always kind of sucked, but there was definitely more good dual players in the past. But, like, as they, the entire game is dying, it's not just dual, to be fair. But, goes how it goes. Um, I'd say GG, GG to this guy, and then I don't think I'm going to build, pull up an entire, like, thing um, to show you guys my build. I'm just going to pull up this one. So, okay. Because it's just like Gilgamesh. I'd pretty much build the same thing every single game. The only difference is if I'm against some magical, I'd probably go like Shoguns. Or I would just go Genjis, honestly. I could just go Genjis. Yeah, I'd probably go Genjis if I were against a magical character. And I wouldn't go Brawlers if I didn't need Anti-Heal, of course. And I would trade that Anti-Heal out for more damage. Probably a Heart Seeker in almost every single situation. If you don't need that, get the Heart Seeker. And other than that, I pretty much would build the same thing every single game. I'd pretty much always start... Uh, horrific unless I desperately needed a beads because I was against like an Anubis or something of that nature um, So yeah, I'm not gonna pull up a whole god builder But one honorable mention I will say is you could go. Oh, I didn't mean to queue again. You can go Erendite, um For like stealth character like especially like Alquang or like Loki or something Loki's gonna ult out of your ult and then probably stealth and you can chase him with the Erendite, Um Replace whatever you want with it probably like this brawler slot um, but yeah, for the most part, I pretty much build the same thing over and over on uh, Odin. These items are just very strong and they feel very good. Um, I was pleased with the way Odin, like, don't get me wrong, dual players just suck at the end of the day. Like, they just suck. But uh, I was pleased with the way that uh, today turned out. I was pleased with the way my my Odin 
turned out because we love Odin and all Norse characters. And matter of fact, let me quickly pull up the Norse. Yeah, dude, we love all these guys. These guys are cool. Aside from a uh, Soul Rat and I guess Scotty. Like I think Scotty's cool, but I don't really play her. The rest of these guys are cool guys though. We like the the Viking boys at the end of the day. Appreciate you guys for watching the video. It does mean a lot to me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. 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 Odin OP.